What's up guys, Aaron Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install or basically set up a Firelight MDF 300 dual monitor module. So I guess this could, this could also go for this regular singular monitor module, so I probably won't do a video on that. Uh, a lot of you probably didn't know I had this panel, but I got an MS9200 DLS board with the transformer. It's not in a case but uh, still the same panel. It does have a knack fault that is unfixable though. So that's basically the only thing wrong with it. So to get started with our installation here, obviously I'm not gonna be putting in the box. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to wire it up basically. So first off, we're gonna start off here with our SLC wiring. So negative goes on top and positive goes on bottom for these type of modules here which I'll just screw these terminals down. I probably should cut the string off, but there's that. So now our SLC wiring is connected to our module. Now you can obviously set it for whatever address you need. So this is our base address for these modules. So the base address is the first address and then the other one is the secondary address. So, um, I'm not sure which one is the primary and the secondary on this one because I forget. But uh, one of these will be assigned to address um, three, which is one, of, which is my base address. And then the next one up, which is going to be number four, will be the other set of terminals. This is only a class B circuit on here. The regular monitors just have a class A. So I usually use class B with the resistor. But speaking of resistors, you're going to need a 47K resistor, not 4.7 like they would usually have on a Firelight panel, but a 4, uh, 47K. So for our demonstration today, I'm going to be only using one of the monitors, and but I'll still show you how to program it and everything. So obviously, you would just wire it up like this. Obviously, no smoke detectors on here because it's not a powered module. So, just stick our two wires in there. I'm going to be using a regular standard BG12 hex lock, non-addressable on the uh, output side or input. I'm not sure what you want to call it. CBG12. And on the back, we have the 47K resistor. So now, basically, I'm done with my module. So at this point, I would just put the faceplate on it, and then we're ready to program it in. So that's what we're gonna do right so now. So for our programming today, we are going to be using the keypad. So first off, we're gonna go into programming mode. The password for this panel is just a bunch of ones, which everybody knows. We're gonna hit point program, which is number one. And then uh, we're going to go to module. Oh, I must hit edit. Then you're going to hit point program, module, add, and enter our base address, which is three. And then we're going to hit monitor module. Then we have to add our second address, which is zero four. That one is going to be also a monitor. Well, I mean, you can't really change it to what it is. And now my device should have communication. And it is set to light speed, but uh, it is doing the double polling for the module. So now we'll escape the menu all the way. And then I'll show you that it works. Okay, so the panel might take a second to initialize. I'm not too sure yet. I mean, there's nothing on the system. But as you can see, the module is polling. And as you can see, it activated the module which this one is number four so this one is number um, this one is three and this one's four so this one's your base address L is your base address for this device here so that's gonna be it for how to install this module I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful if you didn't know how to do it so thanks for watching peace